In this video, I will show you how to use Rust 2 to drive the big button. A Git repository can be found via the website. You can clone it, put it on a computer you want. Here I used a NUC computer. So this NUC computer I will uh, install in the big button. This nut requires 19 volt, and that's why I have a power supply of 19 volt. Input is 24 volt from the, the batteries, so uh, let's install it. This is from the batteries, and as you can see, this tray fits right into the big butt. Just connect with some bolts and then I can show you other things. I hooked up the nuck in the tray and the tray to the big butt and now I have to connect it to the rest of the big butt. This is an isolator, USB isolator, USB to R232. This goes in the drive USB slot. Then I have similar USB to R232 that goes to the RC receiver and additionally, but highly recommendable, uh, USB for uh, Speaker. The speaker is mounted here via the, this uh, socket. So now it's ready to start. Okay, now we're ready to power on the big butt. Power here. <laughs> and automatically the neck will steer up. Meantime, you can turn on the RC you see that it makes connection already robot is ready for service now it has started up we have to choose the mode of operation now it will do nothing go to manual mode with radius restriction we want to go to manual mode go to manual mode This is the safety button, you hear the holding brakes uh, click, so that it's released, so it's ready for driving now. You hear the motors, so next step is to engage the motors. And now we are ready to... When you're uh, finished uh, driving, <coughs> you have to stop the no computer. Now it's easy, I can stop it like this, but normally you have an enclosure. So on the RC, this button, if you hold it two seconds, it will shut down. So press it, release, and it will shut down the knuckle. 